everybody back with a new episode of Babylon 5. Last episode was really fun getting to meet Londo's wives, but now he's down to just one. But I think he definitely made the right decision in picking Tim off because she is going to be a straight shooter with him, and that's definitely what he needs. Uh, we also met Talia's ex husband, who was the worst, but also an empath now, which goes to show what Psychor is doing and willing to do. He was, ugh, he was a lot. I'm glad they're not together anymore, but it was good to get some backstory with her on that regard, especially kind of seeing where she's at with Psychor. I really don't think she would choose to be a part of the organization if she really had a choice, but she didn't want to be with him. That's for sure. Um, some fun stuff with Delenn, with her kind of getting used to her changing body. That was a lot of fun. I liked uh, Ivanova helping her with that. Uh, this next episode is called A Race Through Dark Places. Anytime they're like dark shadows, like are we getting into the, the darkness creatures with Morden and kind of where Londo is on that. I kind of need to know. I need him to get it together and not get in further with them. So, you know, a race through dark places makes me think that's where we're going this episode, but who knows? So let's get into it. They've decided that our quarters are larger than necessary. They want us to relocate to smaller quarters or start paying rent. Rent? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah? Well, you can tell her Central they can take a flyer. It's only 30 credits a week, sir. It's not that much. She has 30 now. I don't care if it's... Until they just keep month. raising it. It's a principle. Like all landlords. Some of the smaller quarters are actually quite nice. Ivanova, I am not moving, and I am not paying the rent. There has to be a Central Clearinghouse for the Underground Railroad. Where is it? The historical implication of an Underground Railroad means you're the bad guy. Well, this was white as snow. It. You did. Oh, oh shit! Just before he died. Damn it! Trade are his final thoughts. Babylon Five. You stay away from Babylon Five. The project was our last best hope for peace. If you could help me better understand what it is to be human, it's a big question. Though I now look more like you, and not one of you. What would you suggest? Dinner. Dinner? Dinner. Dinner. One day they're shooting at you, the next day they're taking you out to dinner. Yeah. What a universe. That's what Babylon 5 is all about. Black uniforms, jack boots, giving orders. Some days they scare the hell out of me. Yeah. If you ask me, we created our own monster. You did. Maybe we deserve it. All right, give him whatever help he needs, but keep an eye on him. Murder. Murder. What's wrong? I know Vesta will try to stop us, so we don't have any choice. We have to kill him. Well, do what you gotta do, I guess. Yeah, I thought that guy looked familiar. He was in the first season. Look at you, ma'am. Is this a date? The woman who sold me this told me that I would definitely turn heads. <gasps> Mission accomplished. If they turn much further, you'd be sued for whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you like to start with? Look, can I talk to you for a second? What, is this official business? Hey, everybody, Carol! <laughs> nice roll. I need a contact inside the Underground Railroad. Great. Good hunting to you. Mm -hmm. So what have I got to do with it? An operation like this couldn't work without support from someone inside the station. I figured it was you. Nuts. That's a good I'm guess. Have a good time figuring it out. Me? I'm gonna go back to my quarters and get some sleep. It would appear that we have much more in common than we imagined. That's usually the case. Human and warrior relations are strong right now. At least in that restaurant. Ah, Ms. Winters. Do you know what it's like when telepaths make love, Commander? Why are you there thinking of him? There is no more Jason. I am something else. Yeah, he's, I, he's like a god now. 
Yeah, he gave you telepathy. Oh, we're finally getting back to that? I mean, uh, telekinesis. It's been on my mind twice today. Why? Why isn't he saying this? Is that the other part of the gift? Oh! <gasps> Thanks, Jason, if it is. Why do y'all sing that song? It keeps them out of your head? Gotta take a hard line with these people. That does not look comfortable. Moments weakness. Yes, sir. Oh shit. Why did they take her? Why else would they try to kill me? Is this a multiple choice question? <laughs> as far as I know, she got out. God is here to protect you. I don't believe that, and neither do you. That's not true. You're not here to protect them. I saw you almost there. What's where? Just heard from the people running the Underground Railroad. They've got Talia. I don't know if she's okay. They reached out to you? I haven't heard her and they don't intend to. Would it interest you to know that I married Mr. Garibaldi? That I have a five-year-old daughter? Hardly the description of a monster. Monsters have children. Smooth. You're getting good at this. I keep working on it. One of these days I might even be convinced that you're human. <laughs> they picked another P-11 and said I had to marry him. Been there. I wanted to Increase the odds of breeding a P-12 or higher. I refused. Felt hands lifting me out of bed. The next morning they tried to tell me it was all just a dream. Four weeks later I discovered I was pregnant. <gasps> when she was born they took her from me. Oh my goodness. This is some so eugenics bullshit. In the hospital. Why are you telling me this? Special. Yeah, you would be a huge asset. Well, don't you think your presence might scare off the guy who's running this operation? No, not really, considering I am the guy running this operation. <gasps> Dr. Franklin! Hell yes! I hope you have one hell of a good explanation for this doctor. I think he does, Captain. <gasps> and I think you should listen to him. Ah, you that's awesome! All of them. You're screwed, Buster. Screwed. Back on Earth, I heard things. The kind of things you're not supposed to hear about. Last year, I set up a clinic down below so we could start processing runaways and changing records without anyone from MedLab knowing about it. Oh, wow. I trust my staff, but the Psychor has a knack for intimidation. If I turn you in, and right now I'm more than a little tempted, I embarrass the station, Earth Central, and give the folks back home one more reason to shut us down. They don't need to know. I remember you. And I remember you. That's why I started all this. Listen to me. You have nothing to be afraid of. Ooh. <gasps> you don't force me to. They're stronger than you. Together. No. This better be. This better be. This better be not real. I prepared to take a few alive. I don't suppose anyone would like to tell me what just happened. Y'all did it! He stared for a moment. Then he smiled and went back the way he came. <laughs> ah, yes. Which was? He saw what we wanted him to see. An illusion? A telepathic projection. He won't press the issue because he doesn't want to be linked to a bunch of dead bodies. Go quietly. And all I Perfect have to do plan. Is let him go. And let it happen, he Sheridan. He goes. If he suspects anything, he might scan you, and you don't have the defenses to block him. And no more underground railroad. Babylon Five's gotten too hot for it. Get your people out of here, and I don't want to see any of them around here again. Clear? We'll no. take it. So you don't think that what I did was right? I didn't say that. He does. Well, what are you saying? I'm not saying what I'm saying. I'm not saying what I'm thinking. As a matter of fact, I'm not thinking what I'm thinking. <laughs> There's only one thing on my mind right now. What's that? Whatever helps you get through it. I need a drink. <laughs> I gave you more than you know. More? When we did back there, shouldn't have worked with that side cop. 
It worked because of her. You tipped the balance. <gasps> Dahlia! I felt it when we were joined. You are more than you think you are. Ooh. Then what am I? Future. You are the future. She's gonna have a big I role think... in this. You know, Central never gives in when it comes to money. But if you're determined to keep at it, I'm prepared to do the same. Ah. Item two? You snore. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> no, I don't. Captain, either you snore or you had to sleep in a chair. I'm deducting 60 credits per week from the budget set aside to maintain combat readiness and applying it against the rent. On what grounds? On the grounds that I'm not ready to fight anybody until I've had a decent night's sleep in my own damn bed. You got a problem with that? Nope. No. None whatsoever. See you next time, Ms. Winters. I feel like he feels uneasy about everything, but uh, there ain't nothing he can do. I bring gifts. Oh, hell yes. I need someone to talk to. Oh my god. The sounds. I love you too. You're the only one I can think of. <gasps> Unless my, my being here offends you. You know. Take it off, girl. Wow. Big episode for Talia. Hell yes. We've been leading to this though. Oh my god, you two. I really like this episode. Great one for Talia. And I feel like the last few episodes we've had is kind of like slowly breaking down her belief system in Psychor. And I know she has goodwill toward them from the way she was raised, but I really think that had more to do with her mentor that she had. I think she does have issues with how they go about things. And uh, this was the episode that she had to pick sides. And uh, she picked the right one. Uh, definitely always side with the people. I think that's a usually a good rule of thumb. And uh, the fact that they had this underground railroad happening under our noses and Dr. Franklin was a part of it. That's why he had the whole clinic down there. That's so cool how that came around. And having so much of this episode come off of that episode with Jason, which was a while ago for me, but I love that they brought it back to that. You know, she hasn't been using her telekinetic powers, but she has it. And not just that, she can block them from getting into her mind. That is so useful. This is not going to be the last time we need her in this way. And like that guy said, they wouldn't have been able to do that without her. She is a she is a game changer. She is a scale tipper. And uh, that is huge to have to go up against Psychor. You, you're going to need someone as powerful as she is now. I don't know if she believes in herself as much as she probably should. But I feel like we'll get there. And I really like the conversation that they had about... Psychor being uh, something that they created out of their own fear and seeing how it has blossomed into what it is now, something that they have no control over and is now kind of like a an active bad in the world, which makes sense for something created out of fear for it to come back in this way. And it was terrible to see them kill that guy at the beginning for trying to help his fellow telepath. But it looks like they've got good work going on. And unfortunately, they're not going to be able to use Babylon 5 anymore because their spot has been blown up. But they got done what they could while they could. And uh, that was great to see. And I know Sheridan struggled with their decision and his involvement in that. But I, I think he, you know, kind of stuck his nose out of it, allowed what happened to have happened. And now that it's not happening anymore, he's don't look, don't tell, just kind of let it be. And especially in an episode where he's got some grievances for the people in power over him, I'm glad that he came to the resolution that he did, just kind of let it happen. Let, let bygones be not bygones. It's in the past. It's not happening anymore. Don't look. Even if it's something else happens, just don't look. <laughs> it's awful that they're charging them rent. 
like he said, they're on call 24 seven. I think they should be accommodated. And for him to, you know, skirt around the rules a little bit himself, maybe he learned a little something from what they did and uh, making them pay them their own selves for it is a, a nice way to do that. So I'm glad he got the win there and Ivanova as well. I love that last scene. I want Talia and Ivanova to be tight. They seem like such an... You just don't expect them to be friends because of their past with Ivanova and how she feels about telepaths and Psychor. For her to come around and understand Talia's position and still want to be friends with her and confide in her. I love that. I love them too. They're the best. I just, I really like this episode. It was so cool. We saw Mars for a little bit to, to open the episode and, uh, it's great to see the other telepaths helping and even people that aren't telepaths helping because they understand this position that they're forced to be in and trying to help them out. I, I love to see it. I love Dr. Franklin for doing that. And uh, the commander for allowing it to be. This was so great. And oh my goodness, Delenn and Sheridan. I don't know if we officially called that a date, but it sure did seem like one. They got along very well. And uh, that's very new for Sheridan, considering he was in a war with the Minbari previously to be having dinner with the Lynn is a huge deal for him. But he seemed to, they got on very well. And uh, seems like the Lynn is acclimating quite nicely to being a human now. Good for her. She looks great. And uh, we'll see if something comes of that. But it was very, it was a romantic setting. I'll say that. So, yeah, this was really good. I really, really like this episode. I'm so hype about Talia now. Uh, it's just a sky's the limit of what she could probably accomplish by having the ability to not be scanned. And whatever comes of her having telekinesis like that's probably gonna come in handy too and like that guy said like he said there's like who knows what else she can do what else did Jason give her so that that episode with Jason and it came back so hugely here um and Bester I knew he looked familiar like I said that episode was a long time ago for me but I like that they were able to trick him like they did I know he tried to humanize himself and say, like, oh, I've got a, I've got a kid and family, like, but that still doesn't mean you're not capable of doing terrible things, even when it's not coming from you, even if it's psychor directed, you're still enacting atrocities, killing people, or trying to give themselves a better life. I remember not liking him in that last episode, so I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised I still don't like him here. I'm glad they were able to trick him like that. And yeah, Talia's looking like she's super loyal to them now, which she's never been less loyal. So she's in a really good position. And I just wonder what else is going to come out of this. But I thought this was so good. Uh, and a great continuation off of what we have known so far about Psychor, about Talia, about her abilities. And I just love to see them all holding hands and knowing their power when they come together. Because power to the people, man. <laughs> I love to see it. So that was that was awesome. This was a great episode. I'm, I'm very happy with every outcome here. So... I know they're going to move on from Babylon 5, but I hope the Underground Railroad steady, is steadily humming. And I, I really like that it was Dr. Franklin being a black man. And you, when you say Underground Railroad, I mean, you think of 
you think of Harriet Tubman and uh, those parallels were right there. So I, I love to see that. This was this was so good. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this episode, even though we didn't have like Londo or Jakar or that darkness creature thing that I was hoping for. I, I really like what they did here with this episode. It was great. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon.